Let's talk about Hallam, Nebraska. As many of you know, it experienced an F4 tornado 15 years ago today. And now the town is fully recovered and ready to look into the future. Channel 8 Eyewitness News reporter Pierce Corlett was in Hallam today and has more on our top story. Pierce? Here in Hallam, Nebraska, 15 years ago, a tornado destroyed the whole town. And after a massive rebuild, the city looks brand new. In 2004, an F4 tornado came through the town of Hallam just south of Lincoln and wiped out most of the city. It is the second largest tornado in history, reaching two and a half miles wide. Now many residents look back on that terrible day and remember what they went through. And it was the darkest night I've ever experienced. I mean, you couldn't even see clouds. It was so black. The tornado completely leveled most of Hallam, with winds reaching 200 miles per hour and being on the ground for over 52 miles. The residents now just try to look at the bright side that it brought just years after. You, know, you think, you look at what's the positive of, of everything if you can, and the positive of a tornado like that is that you get a new town out of it. It's just a lot of hard work to do it but it does come around and it does work out. The tornado caused $160 million in damage, but now, because of all of the reconstruction, Hallam looks new and improved. It's, it's completely different because look at the buildings. You don't see the old, 100-year-old buildings that are, are wooden structures uh, side by side. It's not, it doesn't look like an old town. It looks like a new town. This town, is, like this town was established in 2004, instead of in 1865, you know. These Hallam residents look at that day as a moment which made them all come together and make the town much stronger. We're doing great and uh, it, it makes everybody come together like they do with all disasters in Nebraska, like the floods up north too, that yeah, it's tough, but in the long run, it will be better. Reporting in Hallam, Pierce Corlett, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.